Here's why you're using the RSI indicator wrong. Most traders use the RSI indicator to see if a market is overbought or oversold. If the price is above the 70 line, it's overbought. And if the price is below the 30 line, it's oversold. Here's the problem. Sure, this works every now and then, but I'm sure if most of you have traded like this, you have quickly figured out this doesn't work all the time. In a strong downtrend, for instance, the RSI will tell you the market is oversold, but the price will continue to keep on dropping. Instead of using the RSI indicator this way, you should be using it as a momentum indicator. So the RSI will have a line right down the middle, right at the 50 mark. Here, the RSI is in a downtrend and crosses below the 50 line. Then it pops back up and uses it as a resistance, then starts to head back down. We can now predict that the RSI has a high probability to head downwards to the oversold area, which means price will also head down and follow this path. The RSI can give some pretty good tips, but it should never be used alone. Use other indicators with it to confirm your entries even more.